Hey everyone, my name is Matt Kleskowski, co-author of the Photoshop Elements 7 book for digital photographers. And I'm here to show you a pretty cool technique for just thinning a person by just a little bit. Now, the one of the things that we try to do when we're, we're retouching photos of people inside of Elements is you don't want everything to look fake. Okay, if you take a person and you squish them together, it's gonna look fake. But the technique I'm gonna show you here today is a real nice way, especially when we take close up portraits of a person. Sometimes it tends to widen them out a little bit and it's just a quick technique to get in there and, uh, and just thin it out a little bit. Only takes a couple of minutes, so let's go check it out. Well, I know this one sounds weird, you know, the, the skinny technique, but trust me on this one, there's a lot of uses for it, whether it is to cheat reality and, and to make someone appear smaller than they are, which, you know, as long as you're subtle about it, there's nothing wrong with that. If you've got a family member that maybe just just a little bit, and as long as you don't ever, ever, ever tell them that you did it, it's fine. Okay, if it makes them feel better when they look at their portrait, and you know, might not be such a bad thing. The other thing is if you're shooting wide, you know, if you shoot up close to a person with a wide angle lens or even the wider setting on your point and shoot cameras, it can make them look bigger than they really are. Okay, so there's a couple of reasons to employ this technique. But what we can do here, uh, very, very simple. What I'm going to do is press Command J on the Mac or Control J on a PC, and that duplicates my layer for me. I'm going to come up here to the image menu, go down to transform. I'm going to go to free transform. Okay. And then this next step is really important because by default, if I drag one corner here, it, it's, uh, or if I do the way I want to do it, which is to go into free transform and change something in the, in the height, it's going to change the width too. You'll see they both go down in the same amount. So that's because we're constraining proportions. We actually are telling elements or it does it automatically, which is really a good thing to, to move. If I move the height, move the width along with it. Okay. But I'm going to turn that off because I don't want it to. I just want it to uh, modify the width here. Okay. So I'm going to go into that width field and I'm just going to hit my down arrow key. And that's why I like to do it with the down arrow key because I can be very subtle. Just keep hitting the down arrow key. All right. And each time you'll see it goes down by a percentage. Now, this looks silly. This is not where you want to take it to. 90% is way too much. Okay. But 96, 97% is subtle, yet it makes a difference. Let's go down to 96. All right. It's subtle, but it makes a difference. So I'm going to hit the little checkbox to commit my transformation and now take a look. And that's why I did this on a separate layer because now I can see the two. This is before, that's after before and then after. So it just kind of thins things out a little bit. Okay. It's not blatant. It's not over the top in any way. It just kind of thins things out a little bit. And in the end, it can help out with a lot of different purposes for your photos. So give it a try. Remember, keep it very, very subtle. 95 would probably be the lowest I'd go, but more, the, more often than not, 96, 97% is a good place to be. And I think you'll be happy overall with it when you start seeing what it can do uh, for some of your portrait photos. So there you have it, just a, a real quick, easy way just to shave a few pounds off. And also, if you are shooting a person up close, how to just kind of take that wideness that we get from those close-up photos and kind of reel it in a little bit. Well, if you want to learn more about Photoshop Elements, make sure you check out the Photoshop Elements Techniques newsletter. It's a newsletter that's published six times a year. It's got a member website that has weekly videos uploaded into that member website every week. Lots of great stuff on there. You can find out more over at photoshopelementsuser.com. My name is Matt Kleskowski. I'll talk to you again soon.